Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Well, guys, you know, unless you're really looking for it, you, there, there's there been less and less as far as news releases on the Yellow Vest protests. And I, I, I've been saying for weeks now, I think that's done on purpose because I think that, you know, the powers that be, so to speak, you know, don't want there being a lot of attention going that way. And especially when you see them getting smarter and smarter in so many ways, French protesters want to set off a bank run with withdrawals. Oh, that's hitting them where it hurts. And um, that's an interesting uptick. So activists from a French protest movement we know about encouraged supporters Wednesday to set off a bank run by emptying their accounts while the government urged citizens to express their discontent in a national debate instead of weekly demonstrations disrupting the streets of Paris. Activists from the Yellow Vest movement, which started with protests over fuel tax, we knew about that, they recommended massive cash withdrawals on social, social media. One protester, Maxime Nicole, called it the tax collector's referendum. We are going to get our bread back. You're making money with our dough and we're fed up, Nicole said in a video message. The movement's adherents said they hope the banking action will force the French government to heed their demands, especially giving citizens the right to propose and vote on new laws. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Edouard Philippe gave details Wednesday of a big debate the government plans to start next week in all the regions of France. We want it to be rich, impartial, and fruitful, he said. The debate will focus on four main topics, climate change, Democrat democratic issues, taxes, and public services, the Prime Minister added. So anyone can propose a local event and an internet platform will provide another venue for discussion, he said. President Emmanuel Macron proposed the debate as a way for government to hear and to respond to the movement's central complaints. And he also announced 10 billion euros worth of measures to boost the purchasing power of French households. About 200 protesters, including trade union members and, and participants in the Yellow Vest movement, gathered Wednesday in Créteil, a Paris suburb, as Macron visited a handball facility dedicated to handball gymnasium. So, and again, we have police officers using tear gas to keep the crowd at a distance from the French leader. And uh, so it's ongoing. And look at that, though. They're, they're thinking about hitting them where it really counts money-wise, a run on the banks. That's um, an interesting development to say the least. And we'll see what happens there. Yellow Vest protesters destroy half the speed cameras in France. Wow, they, <laughs> they took out half of the speed cameras in France. So they are obviously looking to, again, hit them where it counts. And, you know, uh, if you've been to Florida, I had a rude awakening when I first got to Florida, you know, because I wasn't the best person at coming to that complete stop before you make a right-hand turn. And so, you know, I kind of rolled to a maybe a couple mile an hour stop, something like that, you know, not complete, not like count to one, two, three, four, five, and then go. And anyway, I ended up getting two tickets within a week that I didn't even know about because of the cameras. And uh, that was a rude wake-up call because there's cameras everywhere. So up to 65% of roadside speed cameras in France, which are obviously big money makers, have been vandalized in a revolt against speed limits. Well, I think it's more about money, but that is closely tied to the Yellow Vest protest movement. Attacks began on the 2,600 ground-based cameras when President Macron's government reduced the speed limit on country roads to 80 kilometers an hour from 90 kilometers an hour in last July, but intensified in November with the start of rural revolt named after the Gilets Jaunes, you know, the yellow vests. And again, you know, that people will just see that, that reduction in the speed limit. Is it really about safety or is it about revenue? You know, it, obviously, I don't know. I'm going to take a little cynical look at that and think that that's a revenue maker <clears throat> and obviously people are recognizing that and so 
Wow, they are destroying the speed cameras. UK protesters join the French's yellow vests and they're getting on the bandwagon. The left wing People's Assembly activist group has invited thousands of people to wear yellow vests in an anti-austerity Britain is broken march in central London on Saturday. So let's see how many people end up turning out for this. Rival demonstrations are planned in Britain this weekend as groups from opposite ends of the political spectrum try to emulate the yellow vest protest movement that has recently swept France. And so, you know, this is one of the things, again, I mean, I didn't realize it, but uh, over here, they're still protesting and and they haven't stopped in in UK as well. And in fact, they've basically been outside Westminster pretty much every day. So you don't hear so much about it, you know, and I don't think you guys do too much either over there in the UK unless you're, you know, right around it. Um, I mean, I look at a lot of the UK papers on a daily basis And it's not like it's the first thing I'm seeing at all. So it's almost like they want to kind of hide it. But it's still going. It's still growing in many ways. And perhaps it's growing um, a little bit smarter about how to get heard as far as, you know, the monetary thing. Because, you know, hey, it all started about taxes, right? Egypt banned the sale of yellow vests. And are the French protests spreading? And, uh, you know, it's not just Egypt, as we saw. There, there were protests in Iraq, Bulgaria, Israel, Taiwan, uh, Canada, UK, as we've seen. We saw one lone guy protesting in the U.S. That's a little bit surprising to me, but we'll see. We'll see, you know, how is this going to progress? And over here, out of Global News, Facebook begins removing comments from Yellow Vest Canada Group following talk of killing Trudeau. Okay, that's, you know, talking about things like that is going a little bit too far. And, of course, we've heard, you know, of all sorts of restricted speech and Facebook's at the... (laughs) at the forefront of it, you know, with their censorship. Um, Facebook, you know, in many ways reminds me of the Chinese government with their uh, restrictiveness in regards to freedom of speech. But here we have Facebook began removing content from Yellow Vest Canada Facebook group on Wednesday after Global News reported that the page contain numerous comments about killing Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. The social media company said the action was taken because the content violated its community standards. That's what you always hear, community standards. Facebook said it was continuing to review the group, which has more than 100,000 members. Administrators of the page cautioned commenters to watch their language, and one said in a statement to Global News that they do not tolerate this kind of talk, and it will be dealt with. But comments wishing for and advocating the death of a prime minister remained on the page, which launched a month ago following the so-called Yellow Vest protest in France. Trudeau, well, you could see the comments. And, you know, you got to wonder, I think some people do that just to be inflammatory. Not even that they would consider doing it or really even think somebody else should do it, you know, necessarily. I think a lot of people just love to stir negative emotions. I mean, I see it every day just on this YouTube channel. There's always those out there that just, you know, it's almost like they truly do have a demon inside them. They just want to stir stuff up. They just want to promote negative energies, you know, and we call these people trolls, but really, You know, it is, it's a dark energy that's inside someone to be so negative and divisive uh, and to try to stir, you know, emotions of hatred and things like that. That's not going to really help anything. And, And as so often has happened throughout history, good movements get pulled down a very, very violent path. Um, and then things degenerate. And, you know, then a lot of times we end up having wars. 
And so, you know, I always think about, you know, one of the movements that really worked that was basically pacifist, and that was Gandhi's. You know, he did succeed. And uh, he did it through peaceful means. So many of the peaceful people like Martin Luther King, you know, do get assassinated. And, you know, the the darkness uh, claims their light, which is, you know, such a sad thing to see. France erupts at Italy over Yellow Vest comments. Show some respect. France's European Affairs Minister... Nathalie Lousseau on Tuesday asked the government in Rome to show some respect after its populist leaders expressed their support for the country's yellow vest protesters, urging them not to weaken. That's interesting. And um, part of what we see going on, there's there's a lot of different things going on. You know, it, it's definitely being fed up with the globalist movement in so many ways, as we know, and, and the whole system. Everybody is really, really tired of the system. They're recognizing that the system is broke. And so we talk about, and, and we see these nationalist kind of movements going, um, which could be a, a double-edged sword in so many ways. And, you know, obviously that is what some of the globalists have talked about in order to create their globalist agenda and you know as as far as factionalism nationalism leading to wars and then they'll use you know world war one and two as examples among other wars however you know we we do need to come together globally but we it doesn't mean that we need one big global humongous governmental structure you know, ruling over all of us. And in effect, you know, perhaps it is better to break it down to the smallest common denominators, break down power into as local um, an arena as possible so that the people will actually have a say again. Because as you can see, what's, what's really clear when we look at this whole thing going on is you look at Macron and I'm looking at him, and I could picture him with a little crown on his head. Because, you know, do they treat it as a monarchy? And the, you know, if you're going to use the United States as an example, you know, your your Senate and Congress, are, are those your, your ladies and your lords, and everybody else is just the peasants? We could say parliament, if we're going over to the UK and all. Um because it still feels that way. You know, it still feels that way for the majority of the people. Like we're in a feudal system and we are lorded over by these politicians that think they're above everything and feel like they're above everything, including actually listening to the will of the people. And it's only when they feel really, really threatened that they start to make concessions. And at that, you know, it's still tokens. You know, just my opinion on things, you know, is that, you know, we, we could see the system is broken. It's pretty obvious. I think most people think the system is pretty, pretty broken. And it needs more than just a tiny little tweaking. It needs a complete redo, a revamping, a spring cleaning <laughs> of sorts. You know, it's, um, we see it. And the people of the world recognize it. Or really the people, when we're looking at these protests, you know, where they're going on, you know, for the most part, it's the more developed countries. And so, you know, a little tension there between France and Italy going on. And as we know, there has been tension in the past. It's, it's all very interesting to watch. New Paris mural celebrates Yellow Vest Revolt. There you go. That's a retake on a familiar classic. French street artist Pasquale Boyart created the work based on Delacroix's monumental Liberty Leading the People, glorifying the revolution of July 1830 when the people of Paris drove King Charles X from power. French street artist Pasquale Boyart created the work based on Delacroix's monumental Liberty Leading the People. Beautiful artwork there, and I don't know, do you guys think it's beautiful? 
I do prefer the classic, but still, it's timely. So, my friends, as always, thumbs up to support the channel. Do subscribe, click the bell, get all the notifications, and share, share, share. Let us continue to work together in peace and harmony and try to basically affect positive change as best we could, which really, you know, the, the easiest and the most constructive way is really at a local level. But in time, as enough people really seek and search for change you know we could make that change that we need to have happen we need to wake uh, wake these governments up and wake up enough so that the governments behind the governments know that change needs to happen and that's uh, that's something that feels like it's inevitable and let's hope it's sooner than later God bless my friends. Namaste.